so today's complaint is water leaking out of the bin. They're complaining that it's leaking all over the floor. They're saying that the ice machine is working. It's currently got a full bin. So we'll get that figured out, but what I open it up to see is a full bin of water. So this looks like a plugged up floor drain. And look at that. Someone shifted the bin back. See that? Someone has pushed the bin back and pushed the drain line solid right there. That's an interesting one, huh? So watch this. Ready for a flood? Let some of it come out. That isn't the easiest unplugging a drain that I've ever done. It can't always be easy like this. And more than likely they had their cleaning company come through. Uh, this particular chain uses a national account cleaning company and they probably shifted the whole band back. Or that or some guy with it. Um, squeegee or something like that cleaning the floors did that. Huh, that's a funny one. I've never seen that before. Try to pull the bin back, but it's full of ice, so it's difficult. That's easy. Hmm. Very interesting. All right, well, I'm gonna open up the ice machine anyway, since I'm here. See how clean it is inside, see if it needs a cleaning or anything, just to check all the other operations, because again, once I work on this, I own it, so. It now says make it ice. Machine's nice and clean, don't see any slime build up. And I, I won't be able to get it on camera, but if you use a flashlight, you're able to look down here and see the ends for the water level probe, and I don't see any anything on that. This thing's looking shiny clean. We're not registering any errors in the display. We can go through just to see, but sometimes you'll see errors in here that reset themselves. So we go to uh, data history. No, not that, I'm sorry. Diagnostics. No, it takes me a second here to remember how to do this. Event log, there you go. New event log. Power loss. Power loss is the only event. So there's been no errors on this machine. And if you notice, this machine was installed by me on 7.13.17, so this guy's in good shape. All right, that's pretty much it. This is a pretty easy. Another tip. See, I installed this machine. So when I install it, I do not use the factory foam tape that comes with the machine. I use some foam tape on my own, and it's like a neoprene foam tape. I get it from Granger. I think it's made by Dottie or something. You can actually get a better picture right there because the factory foam tape that they send sucks. So you put the foam tape down first, but if you notice something, the foam tape that I use leaves a space under the door so that way it doesn't hang up. So that's a much better way to do it. So if you can get a foam tape that makes the machine sit up higher, it'll be better because if you do a lot of work on these quiet cubes, you know that where these screws go down, they always hit and then the screws break off and then people lose them and all kinds of problems and they never sit right. But on this one, because we use the taller foam tape, it allows the machine to sit high enough. And it also, if you know anything about these, helps to alleviate the problem of the, the sump. Sometimes we'll, because the foam tape gets pulled out by the cleaning people and stuff, the water sump will sit too low and the curtains in it, it it's kind of weird, but it sits on the the bottom of the bin right here and it pushes the sump up and then the curtains get stuck on it. So let me pull this open and I'll show you. So in here, this is your ice damper, your curtain. If you look carefully, there's a gap all the way underneath the ice damper where it doesn't come into contact with the, 
the sump, and that's because of the tall foam tape that I use. If you use the factory foam tape that comes with these things, it's like this grayish material, it's real thin. It's like, you know, uh, an eighth inch thick or something like that. It just immediately smashes down and then this thing will bind up. You can find that if you shift the drain pan, this thing will start binding up. But because of the, the, the taller foam tape that I'm using, I believe this stuff is, uh, I believe half inch thick or something like that. And obviously it's compressed down because the machine's sitting on it. But yeah, it helps. And then they are using some kind of a cleaner up here or something because this was all like pink. I don't know, whatever. But anyways, yeah, the, the, the better foam tape works really good. This is like a neoprene material that I use. I'll see if I can link it in the description. So sometimes they're easy, like this one. Okay, we had a service call on an ice bin that was leaking water all out from underneath the bin. Found that someone had shoved the drain line for the bin all the way up onto a tile and blocked off the flow of the drain line completely. So I popped it off of that tile, pulled the bin back into the position that it was supposed to be in, and it was draining properly and everything was good. And like you saw, you know, I like to just to be safe. I went through the ice machine to make sure there was nothing wrong with that also. But the original complaint, the customer said they had plenty of ice. They just were worried about the water leaking out of the bin. Also, I thought when I installed that machine that I made that drain long enough to where that couldn't happen. But apparently, if you give a cook a squeegee, he can figure it out. I, you know, who knows? So what I ended up doing was I ended up cutting that drain line shorter so it's impossible for it to happen again. So now the drain line won't get stuck on the tiles if someone was to shove the bin back like that. But that's pretty much it, guys, okay? Um, really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch these videos. Uh, pay attention to the show notes. There's lots of great information in there. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one, okay? Thanks.